Carsdale. The Metro Deli has been part of the Westchester community for over 10 years. We always use the freshest and highest quality ingredients for all our dishes and catering events. Our breakfast features bagels with freshly sliced Nova. Don't miss out our thick challah French toast. For lunch, grab a booth and enjoy one of our oversized salads or our freshly cut hot deli sandwiches. We're open seven days a week where the coffee is always hot and freshly brewed. And we are back. And I'm back. And Andy's <laughs> back. Woohoo. You guys needed me, so. Yes. Yeah. Well, we definitely needed you for this commentary that yeah. Caitlin has no idea. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm about. detached from the world, okay? So I just, we just filled uh, Brandy in about Serena Williams just losing. And then she <laughs> she says, did Drake, Drake distract her? Definitely distracted her. Because you guys, I don't really watch tennis like that. And you guys are always like, yeah, like Serena's going to win, obviously. So well, I, everybody thought that she was going to yeah, win. Yeah, but I feel like she just wins all the time. I like, know. Well, yeah, because it is expected for exactly. her to win. But then that's why it's so crazy that she just lost. Because of Drake. Like, there's no <laughs> other reason. What else could it be? That really is the explanation. But I don't know. Like, we just saw, like, two photos. Like, Drake and Serena were playing tennis together. And, like, Aww. if he was in the stand, she might have had her mind somewhere else. She might have. I don't know. But Andrew. and then this is a perfect segue into the Drake Ooh, okay. and Meek Mill controversy that happened over the summer. Do you know anything about it? Caitlin literally Caitlin? just was in the dark about it. <laughs> I was like, yeah. So what do you think about that? And she was like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> who's wow. Meek Mill? <laughs> that I did not say who was Meek Mill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. He's kind of irrelevant now, but. I don't know. It is kind of irrelevant now because Drake literally just shut him down. Yeah. So, like, basically Meek Mill was, he was just saying, I don't know if this was on Twitter. Like, do you remember if yeah, it, was it was on Twitter? Yeah, it was on Twitter. That's he's, he's, everything's on Twitter. Exactly. Yeah. Like, Twitter really fights everything. galore. Always mm-hmm. Twitter fights. Um, there was a lot this summer. Even, like, the Nicki Minaj and Taylor Swift one. We could talk about yeah, that. Yeah, that mm-hmm. one's big, too. That one I really don't know that much about. So, you can tell me about that one. Exactly. Too. I don't really know much about it. I just know that it was... Are you on Caitlin, Twitter? Why are you here? I'm never like, on Twitter, honestly. first of all, actually. Okay, cool. Anyway, Brandy. <laughs> um, I'm really never on Twitter, so that's probably the first thing. And um, no, the whole Taylor Swift thing, I really don't know that much about it. But all I just know, it's like this huge feud that went on for sh- like a while. Yeah, that one wasn't as like bad as this one. I don't know. I mean, they, they had different reasons for their Twitter fights. But the Drake and Meek Mill one was really funny to me. Because Meek yeah. Mill was basically like... <laughs> Drake can't rap. He gets people to rap for him. He has ghostwriters. Yeah. 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 So, like, Drake was like, how dare you say this? And then Drake, like, in order to come back at him, he just dropped, like, three, Mm -hmm. was it three or four? It was songs. Songs, yeah. It was two. Wasn't it only two? I think there was... It was one right when it happened. Charged Up yeah. was the one that was really directed to him, I think. Exactly. And it's that on the radio. the first one, and he was waiting for me to make a comeback track, and through, like three days later, nothing. Yeah. And then Drake had another one that was even better. Yeah. Well, what, does Hotline Bling count? I don't, no, I don't think like so. That's like about a girl. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> no. that one counts. But he, <laughs> it's definitely not a diss track. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say like it was, but like it was part of like what he like released during yeah. that time. Mm-hmm. And I really like that song. The, um... It's a good song. I, I know. We should play it. We oh. should play it. I don't think we can, though. It might be explicit. We well, can find maybe a clean version. We'll, we'll investigate. We'll yeah. Because um, I think the real reason he did it was because Meek was mad because Drake didn't tweet his album, even though it was featured on it. Uh, and that actually happened with another rapper, too. That with Meek Drake? got mad. No, Meek oh. got mad that he didn't tweet about it. Like, oh. yeah. Meek is really aggressive, though. Yeah, so, like, like, he's, like, just, like, salty. Though. Yeah. He he's, is. I don't know. I mean. If you're going to come at anybody, like, don't come at Drake. Yeah, because Drake is, well, like. Drake will fight back. Like, <laughs> and he did. But not even, like, fight back. Like, he used his words. Because that's how, like, into his feelings yeah. Drake is. Like, exactly. he's like, I will come back at you. But, like, he's with so my words. And I love it. Yeah. Hey, and, Drake. Like, yeah. Yeah, and like I love how he just threw Nicki Minaj in there too. Mm-hmm. But he didn't even have to say her name. He didn't have to say one name and he mm-hmm. was like just on it, yeah. you know? And he yeah. just like he just won. He won that <laughs> he Twitter fight. Did. He totally did. Like I said before, I was really upset because Meek just released his new album. He mm-hmm. was with Nicki. He was on a roll. Like he was gonna get big and a lot yeah. of people liked his album and then he just went and ruined it by this I whole know. Drake it's just thing. like you shouldn't mess with Drake because Drake exactly. has so much more power than you. So mm-hmm. much more. Yeah, and it's just like he's got like his brand set up. Like Drake has his brand. It's mm-hmm. like Nicki, exactly. you need to set up your brand and you shouldn't come for somebody with a great and established brand like mm-hmm. Drake. I don't know. Is that a world tour? Or, or your, your girls, girls tour? tour. 
and Caitlin has no idea. No, she said it. She I, said I was like, do you know that line, Caitlin? She's like, uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, exactly. That's exactly. Um, but yeah, so that was so cool. I don't know. You think Props Meek will ever make a comeback? Yeah, I think he'll keep yeah. making music, and I don't know. For me, it was just kind of like. How does Nicki Minaj feel about this? Because, like, <laughs> Nicki and Drake are, like, best, best friends. friends. Drake loves Nicki, loves her. And, mm-hmm. like, they work together all the time. Obviously, Anaconda, that was crazy. Mm-hmm. And um, everything else, like, on- wasn't it? Yeah, only, like, they did everything, you know? Mm-hmm. But then it's, like, Nicki's dating Meek Mill. So it's, like, that's a weird position like for her to be in. situation. Right? Because, like, like, that's... love triangle. Kind of. I remember, like, Meek Mill tweeted, like, a couple years back, like, I'm going to be the first one to get Nicki Minaj or, like, something <laughs> about that, like, getting oh. Nicki, like, being with Nicki Minaj. And then he finally got her. It's like, don't ruin it. What are you yeah. doing? What are you doing? That's Nicki Minaj. Like, she's so talented and beautiful. And Oh, mm-hmm. my goodness. There were so many memes about Meek, like, all over Twitter. They were so funny. Even at the OVO Fest mm-hmm. in Canada, Drake had memes of Meek Mill, <laughs> like, for his performance. It was crazy. Because Drake like, knew he won. He he did everybody knew he was gonna win there were so many also memes of just nikki and meek standing next to each other and meek was like yelling like mid photo and then nikki was like rolling her eyes yes. or like pretending like she didn't know him and it was like when your boyfriend like comes for drake mm-hmm. and like you're in the middle like it was funny it is funny that was a good time on twitter i enjoyed that period i know um rebecca koshi is trying to facetime me right now why does this happen every time i'm in the radio station she's doing it for fame okay she, she just to wants to be show. on the show so i'm gonna answer it even though there's like Do really wi-fi in here there's barely any service hi rebecca <laughs> say hi rebecca you're on the air hi what's going on iona college iona college <laughs> Um, Do we so, see how many viewers we have? Do we have any? Right yeah. Now? So, like, what's up? <laughs> we're on the air. Are you allowed to do this? Yeah. yeah it's like we're taking. We yeah, it's like we're taking a caller. So, would you like to give a shout out? Any Iona updates you need to? Oh yeah, sure. Um, shout out to the women's water polo team. You nice. guys are all legends. <laughs> uh, not that I, you know, I'm favoriting them or something because I'm on it. Bias. No bias. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, cool. I, what are you guys talking about right now? We were just talking about how Serena Williams just lost her match. Oh my god, I literally... Okay, so guys, here's the scope, Iona. <laughs> the scope or the scoop? See Serena play. <laughs> I bought tickets to see Serena play last night, and the rain got happening, and she was just, like, not about it. So I lost, like... I paid 100 bucks for it, and I had to, like, sell it for, like, 75 So I lost, like, 15 bucks. It's all right. And then now she just but lost the I match. Amaz- I lost the op- amazing opportunity to see her play. And lose. <laughs> see her lose, yeah. <laughs> well, that's stinks. You know it might have been a different scene if she wanted to play yesterday. That's all I'm saying. That's we were, so true, though. Yeah, that's true. We were just saying that um she was probably distracted by Drake. Yep. By what? By, by Drake. By Drake. <laughs> she yeah, so is that like an official thing now? I think, yeah, I think so. so. There's pictures yeah. of them playing tennis together, being all lovey-dovey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you know, when the music world and the sports world get together, shit Isn't goes down. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a good, it's a good matchup, right, I think. well, um, I was just... <laughs> call me after you're done with your show. <laughs> For sure. Okay, bye, Rebecca. Bye. Have a good one, guys. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Oh, okay. Our first caller, guys. Yeah. That's great. Caller of the day. We should do that like we more should. often. Tell yeah. So that was cool. Um, awesome. Okay. Anything else that you guys want to talk about before we do another music break? Um. Oh, I can. So they recently just announced who's on Dancing with the Stars. Oh yeah. So let's here. talk about this. This is kind of like a, a flashback Friday. Yes. Thing. Flashback okay. Friday. So there is. I forget how many. I think there's maybe twenty. Oh no, there's fourteen. There's 14 30, contestants? 30. Yep. The first one is Nick Carter. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That, that's a throwback. That's good. Awesome. Alexa Vega. <gasps> Spy Kids. Who was Carmen in Spy oh Kids. Oh, my goodness. That movie was, like, my religion when I was little. Like, there was three of them, right? So it was, like, the trilogy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So good. I, lo- I love those movies. I actually was watching the second one the other day. That one's good. Um, the Island of Lost Dreams. Yes. It was so, oh, it's so great. Okay. Oh um... Who else? Is it uh, Paula I, Dean? I, hold on. Oh. I'll get to it. <laughs> yes, but Paula yes. Dean is. Did you see the um, video that I sent you? Was it her the whip? And it's like she's Wait, whipping. sparkles. 
Okay, it was it that Did link? Did you not that open the link? I opened the link, but it sent me somewhere weird. So I was like, really? "What is she sending me?" I sent me? you spam. It was spam. I, did you though? Because <laughs> no, it was Paula Dean like in this sparkly dress. Was that a thing for Dancing with the Stars? Yeah. Okay, because I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> oh, that's funny. So Alexa Vega's on it, and do you remember? Do you you blah blah blah. Boo boo blah blah boo. You remember Big Time Rush, right? Yeah. Uh, do you remember uh, Carlos? Uh, oh. Maybe if I saw him. Well, he but. they're married. <laughs> what? <laughs> they are married. <laughs> they're married. And he's also on Dancing with the Stars this season. Oh, Wait, my goodness. Wait, you didn't tell me that part. That's okay. controversial. How old are they? Aren't they like young? 30. The girl from Spy Kids is 30 years old. I think old? when she did it, she was probably like 16. No way. Yeah, and like that was 10 years ago. I thought ago. she was like 11. <laughs> 11. Yeah. Well, she was a kid. That's her. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, that's a cute beautiful. couple. That's a cute couple. She's pretty. I like always. They are a really cute her. couple. This guy's from Big Time Rush. Yeah. Yes. That's her partner. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, because, yeah, they can't dance oh. with, like, their significant oh, okay. others. okay. <laughs> I was just looking at the photo. <laughs> Caitlin's like, give me back my yeah, iPhone yeah. 6. Um, her partner is Mark Ballas, who's, like, really well known. Oh, Mark is, yeah, he's the a really good one, actually. Yeah, he's really, really good. Um, and then this is his, her husband. Yep, Carlos. From Big Time Rush. What's his real name? Carlos. In real life? Oh, cool. <laughs> Were, did they all have their real names on the show? Oh, I didn't know that. Because I remember like James, Kendall, and what was the other one's Logan. name? Uh, I was going to say Logan. Joey. <laughs> um, yes, Paula Dean is on it. I cannot believe and that. In all honesty, there. I watched uh, That's them on weird. Good Morning America, I think it was, and she has lost so much weight maybe from dancing really? no it's from um i'm pretty sure she just like did like a health change after like the whole controversy well, did she stop eating yeah. fried butter did you ever yeah. see that episode of she paula Dean? Butter? she literally one of the recipes was just fried butter so like she just like took some sticks of butter put it into a ball rolled it around in like some crumbs and then threw That's it in the frying in a deep fryer and was like yep it's deep fried butter she literally made that and i was like paula come on it was it dip or something or she just ate it no <laughs> i'm like you know what a popcorn ball looks like on halloween yeah. Yeah. she did that with butter ew okay ew. oh like just straight up <laughs> butter it oh. was kind of crazy so like i don't know i think that's best for her if she didn't do that anymore yeah. you know <laughs> but that's i don't know it's that's kind of weird to me paula Dean. i mean do people are people still mad at her about that controversy the on racist thing yeah the racist thing. i mean like, i'm sure people of... are gonna be mad about well it. yeah, yeah. I, I feel like is that that's so like a weird more, move so much more has happened i think she's trying to like go back and have like a good what station thing. is um what network is abc. Dancing? abc really i don't know it's a very that's a risky move abc we'll see how that goes the next um contestant yeah is contestant his name is Alec Scarlatos. It says the 22-year-old became a worldwide hero when he and two of his friends stopped a massacre from happening on a Belgium train Whoa. subduing an armed shooter, the Army National wow. Guard specialist. So he's like an ar- he's like an, cause an like, army guy? Yeah. Oh, I think that cool. the past few seasons they've had it. Like oh. last season they had that guy Noah. He, he was the one who... Um, was up for the Arthur Ashe mm-hmm. Award Okay. Caitlyn Jenner won. Like that was the guy. Oh, the Courage Award. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, Who else? Chaka Khan. <laughs> no way. Wait, what? Yeah. Who is that? Why don't I know who that is? You don't know who that is? I feel like maybe if I saw their face, who is it? She's a singer. She's a singer. Wait, why don't I know her? Wow, I'm shocked. Well, thanks for explaining her to me, guys. <laughs> she's like a singer. Yeah, okay. She's from, okay. What does yeah. she sing? I have no idea. Any song examples? It's like from the 70s? Like from R&B the 70s? Stuff? All right. Know. Well, I'll look her Something up. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. I, I might be wrong, but... Her. All right. Who else? Um, Kim Zolkiak. Kim don't Zolkiak. Be, the Don't Be Tardy star. Wait, Kim. Who is that? Real Housewife. Real. That's what I thought. Oh, nice. Real she Housewife. She looks like she'd be on a. Real <laughs> Not gonna lie. Wait, what Knew did you it. say? The Don't Be Tardy star. That's what it says. Don't be tardy for, like, don't be tardy for the party. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is the one that like, I don't get. Hayes Greer. Okay, he's Nash, a Vine Nash star. Nash Greer, who, like, everyone knows. He's, like, a really famous mm-hmm. Vine. But guy. everybody knows Hayes, too. I've never heard of Hayes before. That's a cool name. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's weird. It's a Vine star. Whoa. Yeah, so That's Vine. crazy. Why didn't they get Nash Greer on there, though? I think Nash Greer is too problematic. Because oh. Nash oh, Greer has been pegged for being homophobic and racist and all this stuff. Yeah, so I don't he's think like he's... not, like, a good... But um, then again, Paula Dean's on, <laughs> so like I don't know why they didn't just have Nash. 
but I don't know. Um, Bindi Irwin, Steve Irwin. Yeah, Irwin's she's daughter. gonna be on it. I love she's her. Like, that's why I went. Oh, wow. Oh, love I'm her. I'm really love excited that. about because I she's adorable. Yeah. How old is she now? She's like. 18? Is she probably, 18? yeah. She's probably like around our age. Aww. Yeah. Um, I remember Andy she was Grammer is, sorry. Andy Grammer? Yeah, which I'm really excited cool. about. Cool. I love Andy Grammer. Didn't he just come out with like a new song? Isn't it Honey, nah, I'm nah, Good? Nah, yeah. I'm good. I can have another song. He's busy lately. Good for oh. him. He's really good I don't know who this is. Oh, he's a jockey. That's why he looks so short in this picture. Okay. Victor Espinoza. I feel like I recognize that name. He's very yeah. like. He's very little. Well, jockeys have to be little. Oh, he's a jockey. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Gary Busey. Gary Busey, are you kidding me? <gasps> are you kidding me? I'm watching oh my this. Goodness. I'm literally watching and this. And last but not least, Tamar Braxton. <gasps> I'm so watching this. It's gonna be a good season. There's a lot of really well-known people. Wow. I personally okay. want Nick Carter to win. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh my god, He's all of them. He's still super cute. Yeah, like wow. I'm gonna watch this. When does it air? When does it premiere? Um. Any idea? Season 21 of the ABC 21? reality. 21? 21. Already? How old are... Wait, no. That hit uh, kicks off on Monday, September 14th. Monday Do they have it like twice a year or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah I was going to say. I was going to say. Yeah. There's no way this was on before we were born. Definitely not. <laughs> not. I was like, wait a second. Um. So yeah, there was that. And I think that's all I have before like we go to. Yeah, let's play another song. Okay. There's two songs I have. Um, Which ones, Caitlin? Okay, you know the song by Hosier, Take Me to Church? Yes. Mm-hmm. This is Demi Lovato covering it. I'm obsessed with it. I just <laughs> kind of um She's got some it. pipes, that girl. I fell upon it like a few days ago and I'm like obsessed with it. Yeah. And then Let's listen Taylor Swift's new like single, I oh, guess, sorry. because it's like new music video, Wildest Dreams, which is like a really, really good Wait, song. Wait, it's Taylor it. Swift? Wow the next song is, yeah, Wildest Dreams. Oh. Yeah, it's really, really good. See, I don't pay attention to Taylor Swift's music. I'm not, like, either. I like I, I learned that from you. Like I, I learned, was just yeah. Say, we count on you to update us. On yeah, I don't, like, I'm not like a huge T Swift fan, but, but you know her music. But like, I when it's like becomes popular, like I know it because this this music video. I'm obsessed with the music video. We can watch it as it goes, but um, it like debuted right before the VMAs. Oh, so okay. like when I saw it, I just it's so cute. All right, so, cool. Okay. Let's listen, and we'll be right back. Okay. WICR presents 